Chip Ganassi Racing has fired Kyle Larson uh, just this morning after the whole incident Sunday night of him using a racial slur. It just went downhill from there. Uh, we'll just get straight into it. So after Sunday night, that next morning, obviously, I talked about it yesterday. Uh, the team suspended him without pay first, and then it turned into NASCAR suspending him and requiring Larson to go to a sensitivity course, I believe. And then after that, you just knew that it was going to happen. You knew Larson was going to get canned from Chip Ganassi Racing, and that's because of sponsors. Sponsors run NASCAR, we all know that. And at the Credit One Bank, they said they've ter terminated their sponsorship with Larson. Um, then McDonald's, Chevrolet, uh, who else? Clover, is. they were on his last win at Dover last year. They all started to drop out. And then what's Ganassi going to do? He, he's, got the, he's got a terrible situation in his hands. He's got to keep the guy who just used a racial slur and, or, and lose all of his sponsors, or he's got to fire that guy and get someone else in the car. I think you're going to go with this one because, you know, obvious reasons. Uh, Kyle Larson, that he made, he's, th it, there's no other way to say this. That was stupid. <laughs> there's seriously no other way to say it. What he did was stupid. You don't say that word. It's pretty well known that you don't say that word. I talked about this yesterday, but anyways, the official statement says, after much consideration, Chip Ganassi Racing has determined that it will end its, spot, its relationship with driver Kyle Larson. As we said before, the comments that Kyle made were both offensive and unacceptable, especially given the values of our organization. As we continue to evaluate the situation with all the relevant parties, it became obvious that this was the only appropriate course of action to take. So yeah, it's a lesson. I think it really is. It's it's not good at all. Everything that happened, Kyle Larson, that was stupid. This is evidence that your actions do have consequences. People mess up and sometimes they need a lesson taught. They need consequences. And Kyle Larson, he said something stupid. He said a word that he well knew you're not supposed to say. And he said it thinking that he was on private talk or whatever. And that's, I don't think that makes it any better. Uh, and he said it publicly, which with a person in his position being a national known NASCAR driver, you're going to get backlash for that. Anyone who says that, I think, should be should get backlash for it. Um, and it's come back, and he has lost... Now he's lost his job. Uh, he's lost sponsorships. He's lost his n source of income. It's a lesson. When you do something stupid, when you say something stupid, there are consequences to your action. It, doesn't, it really doesn't matter who you are, I think. Um, so this is a major example of it. Larson said something very stupid that he knew he was not supposed to say, and he said it. And now look at him. He is now without his job. He has lost sponsors. He has lost money. He's lost a lot. He's lost respect from, I guarantee you, a majority of people. Um, he has lost... Pff, the list goes on, all right? He made a very, very, very dumb decision, and it has resulted in a very, very, very bad way for him. So that's my lesson to you today. That's my, my little lecture, I guess. That's what we'll call it. Um, to everyone. If you make a dumb mistake, there are going to be consequences. So think, think before you act. Think before you speak. Um, Kyle Larson, you messed up, dude big time. Um, I don't, this is obviously going to affect him short term. He's not going to have a ride, I'm going to guess, for the rest of this year. Uh, it could affect him long term. People might look at him and be like, oh, that's the guy who used a racial slur. I don't want him representing my team. Uh, maybe he will get that chance down the road. I personally think he will down the road. Uh, I think he'll always have this attached to his name, but you know, people get second chances in this world, and I think eventually someone will give him that second chance. But as of right now, 
he looks like a big idiot because he is, and he's suffering for it. He made a big mistake. He said something stupid that he knew he was not supposed to say. That's probably the 50th time I've said it this video. He said something he knew he was not supposed to say, and he's being rightfully punished for it. So Kyle Larson, that's your lesson. You're going to get taught it. A lot of people are going to give you a lot of hate for this like they already are. And this is your lesson, all right? So people, to everyone that's watching this, don't say anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid because your actions do have consequences.